Let's talk about food minimalism. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kasturi. I make videos about minimalism, sustainable living and health. So if you guys think this is your vibe, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to it so YouTube will notify you whenever my next video comes. And by the end of this video, hopefully you'll get some inspiration for trying food minimalism yourself for a healthier lifestyle or you'll at least find some new ideas for daily snacking that will leave you feeling energetic and more mindful about your food choices. Basically, food minimalism is a simplified approach to cooking meals where you balance nutritional needs, you have ease of preparation and you optimize your ingredients while still being able to cook a wide range of meals that you love. And at the same time, keeping in check your waste production and carbon footprint. Like in all other aspects of minimalism, there is no universal way to do it. For each individual, it's going to be different depending on your fitness goals, preferences and requirements. And quite honestly, I never thought I'll change my food habits even a little bit. But especially since lockdown, I've seen a significant change in my health and energy levels and I'm enjoying every aspect of approaching food in a different way that I'm going to tell you in just a minute. But before we begin, there is one thing that I want to mention. I'm in no way encouraging you to start eating less or eating only basic items with no taste, flavor whatsoever. The purpose of this video is to give you some ideas and inspiration to simplify your relationship with food at the same time enjoying every aspect of Indian dishes in a balanced and mindful way. So this is my minimalist approach to food. You can definitely definitely come up with your own but don't forget to share it with us in the comment section down below. So here are some of the main considerations we can take to simplify our diet and a few things about how we can prepare and eat our meals. Eat intentionally and more consciously. Most of us are used to eating with a screen in front of us, right? And I'm guessing so many of us have this habit of serving our food, sit in front of a screen, a laptop or a TV usually, switch it on, play what we want to see and then start eating. But tell me this, did you start this whole process to have your meal or watch something? I mean, we don't start eating until we have our desired show up and running. The habit of eating on a dining table with family is disappearing with each passing day. So do you find it irritating or distracting when you're working on something and someone starts bugging you even after knowing that you're doing some serious intentional work? Then how are we okay with the idea of being distracted while eating which is supposed to be the most intentional activity of the day since it is providing energy and fuel to our body to keep going. Multitasking while eating is a bad idea. It's like constantly glancing through your phone while reading a book, trying to get the best of both worlds but instead not able to enjoy either. I have only been practicing this since a few days but I really wanted to share this with you guys because it has really impacted my energy levels positively. Decluttering our diet. By decluttering, I mean we can start to simplify our eating habits by adding food that fills our tummy for a longer time. This approach can help us choose our food items more attentively and also surprisingly having less items to choose from while eating has helped me enjoy my food more. For this, we must first declutter our pantry and remove items that are not being used very often and choosing spices and other ingredients mindfully. I prefer making one pot recipes which are easy to make and easy to digest. We can include these in our regular everyday meals. But I'm a huge fan of pav bhaji and aloo puri that I eat once in a while on weekends. One more thing I've observed is the benefit of properly cooked food which is not overcooked to enhance its flavors. Overcooking always kills most of the nutrients of vegetables. Sauteed vegetables are the way to go. It's crunchy and full of nutrients. We can experiment a lot. Pasta salad is one of my favorites. Let's chat about this in the comments below and tell me if you want to know how I make a wholesome tasty pasta salad. I would make another video or mention it in the comments down below. Super quick and easy to assemble. One more thing we must try is to observe the ingredients of our food. Then we can eliminate what is not adding value like extra cheese, excessive butter, etc. Basically, we can try to break down and simplify our food ingredients as much as possible keeping in mind the nutritional value of each meal to make sure it's balanced and uncomplicated. Minimizing our everyday food wastage. We must try to cook the amount that we can finish in a single sitting. We should try to avoid keeping leftovers. Often leftovers tend to be in my fridge for more than one day and then I get doubtful about consuming it. That's why I choose to eat less 
then cook more and waste it. We can also try to minimize waste by avoiding processed food, ready to eat items, canned beans, ginger garlic paste, etc. It's neither fresh nor healthy. This way, the accumulation of cans, plastics, cardboards that is used to pack these items, which produces waste, can be minimized. The beauty of our Indian culture is that we have seen our ancestors and parents to make maximum things at home, making it more fresh and healthier in every way. But somewhere over the years, westernized culture has taken over the habit of making food items at home from scratch. Availability of ready-to-make items or processed food in every grocery store is replacing our traditional eating habits. One of the reasons behind our growing need of buying ready-made things is that now we have less time for our health because most of the time goes in work and the remaining goes in taking care of our stuff. Here, minimalism comes into play. When we'll have less time to take care of our items, we can focus on our health and consumption choices on a regular basis. Did you know that people abroad are adapting the culture of making food at home from scratch, which is one thing that we have been doing from centuries? It saves their money and adds to their health. Stop when your tummy says, hello, I'm done. We Indians often tend to get both excited and emotional about food at the same time. And why not? We have so many different types of cuisines in one country. It's unbelievable. We cook, eat and share with so much love that more often we ignore what our stomach has to say and only listen to our tongue and heart. Jo man nahi manta na, ya thoda sa aur kha leti hu, has no end. And thanks to our moms for making such delicious food every single day and the way our moms ignore our mama bas pet bhar gya by saying chal bas thoda aur kha le is just spot on. And then we end up overeating. Overeating leaves us feeling really anxious, which is usually followed by bloated stomach, stuffed belly, weird stomach aches and cramps, which then feels normal after some point of time. I used to justify my weird aches and bloating by saying this is normal. It is because of that particular vegetable or that fruit. And I kept on overeating. Because that's how we're supposed to eat, right? Until we are full. But what is full? There is no end to it. I have observed that when I eat in a rush, I eat more and when I take my time to actually realize the taste, smell and its feel in my mouth while chewing, it becomes tastier and makes all the difference. This small change can help us to never overeat again. Now, I really try to eat in a balanced way and I feel great and my tummy thanks me for it. We must start making healthier choices. Far from fast food, food that is much more tasty and full of nutrition. Indian food is pretty much wholesome, healthy and balanced when cooked in a right manner. Then comes our love for fast food, which comes with loads of salt destroying our taste buds. This is one of the many disadvantages of consuming fast food. Not to mention the diseases fast food brings, starting with obesity and not stopping at cancer. There are many health alternatives for every taste bud. For example, craving for sweet? Instead of going for an Indian mithai like jalebi or peda, try having dates, fruits like mangoes, bananas, fruit yogurt or just plain yogurt with some honey taste yummy. We have all kinds of possible fried stuff starting from bhujia, chakli, matri, etc. in India. We can replace them with a bowl of salad with dips like hummus or cheese or green chutney. This gives you that crunch and at the same time is too tasty to be true. And when I feel like having a piece of chocolate, which is quite often, I try to have a piece of dark chocolate. We can even try replacing chocolate with some peanut butter on a banana and sprinkle some cinnamon powder on it. Trust me, it tastes incredible. But who doesn't love Indian snacks, right? I occasionally eat them myself. But remember, we have to eat this in a balanced way. I'm not encouraging you to stop eating your favorite snacks in any way. Just a tiny little shift in mindset and choosing healthier options more often can help you reach your health goals real quick. Develop the do-it-yourself policy. I have always seen my mom making everything at home, starting from simple things like curd to all kinds of complex, authentic Indian delicacies. But when I started living out on my own, initially I didn't even bother to make things like curd at home. Always used to buy them. But now that I realize how simple it is to make Basic things like curd, buttermilk, paneer, hummus, peanut butter, almond milk and all other kinds of plant-based milk at home. Now I don't buy them from stores anymore. 
Making these things at home can save us a lot of money on a monthly basis. The taste is authentic and it's unadulterated. We can also reduce our plastic consumption that comes with these items and our carbon footprint can be reduced by making these things at home. Do you prefer buying things that can be made at home? Or you would like to try making your own food from scratch? You might think making these simple things must take a lot of time. But trust me, nothing I mentioned here takes more than 15 minutes which is something to at least think about, right? And that's all for today you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with your friends and family and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.